Hello guys, Techo536 here, another video for you today. Um, so today I'm going to be showing you how to stop your laptop from overheating or how to keep your laptop cool. So, first thing you want to go and do is find out your specs. So you want to go to System and Control Panel, find them out, and um, and this will be able to tell you how far you can push your laptop um, and what temps you achieve at what clock, which clock speeds. Okay, so then you want to go to Task Manager and you want to go to performance up here um, and then you can just, this is how you can monitor your clock speeds um, so this gives you a percentage utilisation so you're going to want to, when you're gaming or um, anything you can run this and just look every now and again at what speeds you let the CPU is getting up to um, but then if you want to measure anything else go to my other video which is annotation on the screen now um, and a link in the description for mobile users um, to show you how to the best programs to monitor CPU and GPU temps and that's what you're really going to need for this compute for this um, to monitor your CPU and GPU temps to stop it overheating and to um, and to make sure that you know um, know that you need these next steps and that the um, that your computer is in the safe range. So we'll we'll go on now um, and we'll go to the next step. Okay guys, the next step is to use throttle stop. We've got another video on this um, um, which you can go check out. There's a link on the link on the screen and link in the description now annotation on the screen. So you're gonna want to go on to throttle stop. And it's really it's really simple, yes. Really simple. Um, you have to click on uh, so this is all, you have to tick these two and then you want to go down to set multiplier and change it from turbo down to whichever is the, you want to find, basically for this you want to find an optimum, you want to find an optimum where the um, set multiplier is low enough to keep your temperatures cool, to keep your temperatures down, but to keep your temperatures, to keep your performance up. So at the moment you can see See, I've got 1,995.5 megahertz. That's 91.9 gigahertz, and that's how you can keep your laptop temperatures down. And you can see now I went from 75 to 65. And if I keep on, if I kept on doing that, let's see if I went down to 12, and you see that they drop straight away. Um, and because I'm recording, they're a bit higher. But um, the point is, that's a very useful thing, a useful program to have. So go and check out my other video. Um, to have a full run through of that program um, that's really useful to have a look at as well. Okay so the next method is laptop cooling pad. Um, they're really useful um, as you can see this one here. Um, the idea of it is it blows cold air up onto the bottom of the laptop. The laptop, laptop sucks it in, blows it through so it can cool down its CPU and GPU. Um, it just get, it gets a really good airflow going through the whole laptop. Cools down the laptop. This gives me about an extra 10 degrees. Um, oh well, loses me 10 degrees. Really useful thing. They come in all shapes and sizes as you can see here. Um, and this one's just got one big fan and they usually just plug into the USB really useful, I'll put all the links to these in the description so go check them out. Okay so the next thing you want to do is undust your laptop. Dust is a very big part of overheating and it slows down the fan a lot and that's why. So what you're going to want to do is go um, find the vent on your laptop, flip it over, find the um, find where the fan is underneath and open it up with some, get a screwdriver, open it up um, take off the panel, most computers have a panel, so take that off um, and then once you've taken it off um, you want to hot put a pen on the fan so it doesn't spin and get an air duster, uh, just a com compressed air, air duster and um, spray the spray all the dust off the laptop um, and get it clean again and then fix it all back up together uh, and this should get your fan speeds up and keep your laptop cooler. Okay, so finally, if you want to game heavily or if you want to if you want to edit films heavily, get a desktop. They can have the same specs as your laptop, 
um, but they're cooler and they're not up in that 80 90 danger zone so they're so much more useful they can have better specs um, and they're just a lot more useful because they're in the in the cooler zone so um, thanks for watching guys please like comment and subscribe any questions put them in the comment section below and I'll see you soon thanks for watching and see you in the next video